So for the second analysis, we want to consider um, that our new entries are uh, random effects. So uh, there, I used the um, SAS code from this reference here, uh, Wolfinger et al., 1997. Um, you could also just do this manually in a spreadsheet. Essentially what you're trying to do is you're creating a, an indicator variable called new that we give a value of 1 when we have a new entry and a value of 0 uh, when we have uh, a check. And then we also create another variable called, I'm calling it entry C here, uh, which is um, collectively is 999 for all of the new entries, but then maintains the actual um, value for the check varieties. For example, MF183 is uh, entry number 90. So this allows us then to make comparison among our, among our checks and then a, a co collective comparison between the mean for the new entries and any of the checks. Okay, and so if you didn't want to do that manually, you could use this little routine here to create a new uh, data set in that format. Okay, uh, initially then I just ran this uh, to get an ANOVA. I used um, the GLM procedure. Um, and so I, then my, in, the difference between GLM and PROC mixed is that in GLM, in your model statement, you include all of the factors in your analysis, uh, whereas in uh, PROC mixed, you would only include your fixed effects in your model statement and your random effects in your random statement. So uh, in this case, I'm just doing uh, ANOVA, the solution. Um, uh, option here indicates that I want solution for the fixed effects. Um, and so then the output from that um, analysis is shown below here, the ANOVA. Uh, we can see here that we do have significant variation among our blocks. Um, there, the checks actually were fairly comparable to each other, so there's not significant variation among the checks. But we see from the new times entry um, probability value here, uh, that, that indicates that we have uh, significant variation among our new entries. Okay, so then to go on and use the, um, the mixed procedure to analyze uh, the entries as random effects, um, the, the analysis would look like this. We'd have our class statement here with block entries and the, the new um, fixed effect uh, value there. Um, and in the model statement, we only would include our fixed effects being the entry C. And then we could request the uh, solution uh, for the uh, fixed effects. In the random statement, we would include the two random components uh, and also request a solution for uh, the random effects. And then we would get uh, request means for our, um, our check entries. Um, and then, as I did before, I would uh, make a, uh, a new, create a new data set that re, uh, was the output, of the, essentially the solutions for the uh, random effects. I'm calling them the uh, eBLUPs. And then you could uh, use the export wiz wizard to export eBLUP uh, to an Excel file or CSV file or whatever you wanted to use. So here the, here's the results for the second analysis there. You see we have the estimates of our uh, variance components up at the top um, for blocks, uh, the new entries, and then the residuals. And that there is um, uh, you know, a reasonable uh, variance among our new entries. Uh, again, we have then the, the fit statistics, which we could use if we wanted to compare one model against another. And then at the bottom there, we have a test of fixed effects. This is, includes both, I mean, it includes all the three um, controls, and then it also includes uh, the average of all of the new entries, and that's why we have uh, three degrees of freedom. Um, so you can see here that uh, there, there actually isn't any significant variation among the controls. So this is looking then at the Excel file I created uh, by outputting the eBLUPs. Um, so uh, at the bottom there, you see all of the estimates for the new entries. Um, for example, the 0.2991 uh, indicates these are deviations from a, a midpoint, so that was better, that had larger 
1,000 seed weight uh, than the average, uh, and so on. Um, if you are, uh, would prefer to uh, look at these on the more of the original scale, you could go back up to your solution for fixed effects uh, and use your intercept value. So you would simply add then all of these estimates onto your um, intercept value to get um, the BLUP estimate um, that you could use for selection, for example. <laughs>